It's 11 o'clock and I'm back. What up everybody? This is the Reaper back for another gameplay of Contradiction Part 11. It's been a minute since I played this game and we are, I guess, getting closer to find out who actually did murder the little girl. I forgot her name is uh, because I haven't played this game. Let me go back to my notes. Let's see. Her name is... Her name is... Kate Vine. That's it. This young lady right here, she was drowned in the pool over there. So we try to find out who actually did it. But um, before we do that, we are going to start over here. Oh. The hell is this? Okay, so, oh, uh, let's go over here, and Claire's obviously nothing down there. We go to here, and we have, wow, before we do that, let's go up the stairs, see what's going on here. Might be something up here. Let's go in here, see what we can find. Anything. Okay, nothing. Alright, let's go back up here some more. Maybe we can find something else. See what's getting. Go to the greenhouse. Maybe he dropped something over there. Oh, we got something. So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? He's got some explaining to do. Yeah, he definitely got some explaining to do. So we're gonna go down there and ask James some questions. Ever since he had a little episode, he hasn't given much of anything. But today's the day we're gonna get something out of your behind. Go back down some more. You lying about something? I know you are. Let's see, it is coming case to enjoy the stunt. Alright, let's see. Okay, can I get find anything on you? Not possible, uh, visibly. Alright. It's part of a course. Not possible. No. We'll give it this. What do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pot. Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. Alright. Uh, nobody allows to know the code combination can be ever used for meditation. CD mirror used on the course. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's about this. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have um, some prisoner sword does our IT large guy no manners oh, wow. God damn it. I know we'll get something out of here test design to reveal psychological is least could handle course techniques let's see let's see dang Let's see. Up oh, isn't using a course in my West Lisa, but Lisa. Oh shoot! Could have close at me. Uh, okay, we can't get much out of you. Ah, so. uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, I can't get much out of you. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go, to Rebecca, and see what she knows. Questions, if that's okay. Yeah, let's see what you know. Have you seen this before? No. Hey, I figure you wouldn't know. God dang it. Do you know anything 
about this. No, sorry. God dang, Rebecca, you ain't give us nothing. Give us something. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. God damn, Becker, you give us nothing. I just noticed that the change of the music is changing a little bit. That means we're getting closer. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here? <sighs> Not that I remember. Oh, you're hiding something. Doesn't know much about poppy pods. Never seen anyone sell them, buying pods. Hmm. Huh. Dang it. Jugs. Lisa Vern left Magic Man. Doesn't take drugs or medicine. God dang it. Be back later on if that's okay. Won't be able to find anything on you. God dang it. Alright. A few more questions, please. Mm. Thank you. Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? I went to hospital once, uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so. Is it James doesn't know anything about poppy pies. James was drank opium tea. What is it? Is allergic to poppy pies. Oh, shoot, let's see. Never try any of them, just... Alright, no, that's not gonna work. Alright. Alright, let's go with Emma. That's it for now. Thank you. Alright, Emma. Strange question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. It's okay. Well, you know, she don't know anything. Thank you. Probably be back later. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the world, see if we can find some. Nobody's not giving much of anything. Alright, let's see. To the woods. Go to the right. Nothing here. Come back out. Mm, go to the wood. Back to the wood. Back to the lake. Alright. Go to the jetty. Anybody at the jetty? God damn. They still over there fishing. Y'all at least should have caught something by now. Hmm. Right to the clear. Oh! Just keep pushing. <clears throat> Just keep pushing. What the hell is this? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. <laughs> Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. What the hell is Would this? Someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Test of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. I thought uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector Jenks. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. <laughs> you disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you. It's OK, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. 
don't make any rush commitments. Man, these boys bold. Now we respect you, man. Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Right. Is your keys, Kyle? No. But I'll take that, though. All right, so... So that's threshold testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob. Right, first. uh, let's see. Let's go to Ryan f first. I think his name is Ryan. Got some questions for you, Ryan. About this stupid threshold quest test. That actually could mess up your hands. I mean, don't you know how hard it is to actually stick a skewer through a, a tree? Things, please. Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector. But I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. You ask a question, you say it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, let's see. Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay, let's go to this. All right. No, let's go to the car. It's gotta be around here. Uh, let's see. Behind the house. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Show map. Use it. Oh! Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? It'd be very interesting to see how he explains this one. Right, 500 pounds to cave vine? Wow, that's incriminating evidence, Ryan. Trying to find out what's going on. Guess what? Um, No, 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 no. Come down. No, come down. Let's ask your daddy first. more questions if you don't mind now why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for 500 pounds right I really no idea where did you find it just outside yeah you better ask him you think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate I know he has a weakness for blondes but I didn't think it had gone so far as his offering them cash. All right, uh, Mr. Ryan. That's all for the moment. Thank you. It's time to pay a visit, there, buddy. They're five hundred dollar pounds. This is gonna be interesting to hear the answers come out of your mouth. about a few more things please no you only a few more things is only one explain this would you like to explain what this is please Ryan 500 pounds intended for Kate it fell out of your car at least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon house that's right I suppose so so why were you going to give Kate 500 pounds Ryan it was just a little incentive that's all Oh? Just a little incentive. Not very little, right? That's a lot. 500 pounds. Right, dude. She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No. Uh, well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? My 
money me a little incentive for Kate. Had her Kate want to leave Addis. No alter reason for getting on. Oh, you lying about something, man. Uh, I gotta go back here. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you got me lying. Last okay, me Kate was shot for my kid. You say Kate has some special motion problems. Uh, let's see. Had some uh, first country, country medical. Have her Kate one me. Maybe it is. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Man, this is gonna be. Phrase, get rid of doubt. Hmm. There's no test, no studio. Well, and after I had a play for salmon fee, let's see. Maybe, let's see. There it is. Sit down. Now I feel that wouldn't work. All right. Be back later on if that's okay. Somebody's lying about something. Let's go to. Maybe Rebecca would know. Couple more questions if that's okay. Best not to ask. What do you mean, best not to ask? Oh, shoot. All right. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right, need the pub, need the pub, and we gotta go to the sh go to. Uh, wait a minute, chief. This is probably probably a good time for calling chief though. So, sir, an interesting discovery in Ryan's car. A check for 500 pounds from Ryan made out to Kate. Oh, how does he explain that? He said it was an incentive. Apparently, he'd heard she was thinking of leaving the court. <laughs> what made her so special that they were willing to pay her to stay? Just a good student, I suppose. Nah, doesn't matter. 500 pounds is a lot more than an incentive, Jex. You can buy questions in Parliament for that kind of money. Sounds pretty desperate. Keep on her, Ryan, about it. Oh, and, um, Another drink. Thanks, Chief. Um, All right, so basically, you gotta go back to Ryan's line about something else here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's definitely lying about something else. So, uh, so I need to figure out where is he lying at. Please, no alternative for giving Kate the money. Have her key on the Atlas. Let's see, where can I go from here? Mm, drop me this guy. Back, uh, let's see if I get F2 test. This is still believed. Atlas on serving. F2 test. Video song. Take people away to feel what they like. Let's see, bag use, cause and fall, how to act. Hmm. Play others are clean, others are not very studio or coerce or bribe in any way. Hmm, let's see, you lying about something I know you are. Interested in collecting, has been burning for over years. Small, down burning. I had a payment, just never been, blah blah blah. Suggestion for good, no. Facebook, you accept with you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You lying about something? I know you are, but I just I had to find it. Mira doesn't know, but R usually says. 
Look at that. But you see, you should jump to the key. Let's go get lots of license. Let's okay, like key with sharp. First make key. Say key. Enjoy the course. Appear very heavy. Has suspects. Have emotional problems. No technical problem, let's see. Money me lives, I can't even say I can wanna be. No. No auto review you get money, money me little incentive. Okay. This has to be something I do here. And money's problems. Okay, we're strong. Okay. Hmm. Is it worth a lie? Has it tried? Okay, he's lying about something. I know what it is. I know what it is. She's lying about something. I just have to find it. Students are cursed or bribing away. Wait a minute. Aha! So, students aren't coerced or bribed in any way, except Kate. Kate gave me the five hundred dollars, buddy. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate the five hundred pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. It was an incentive, that's all, a little encouragement. So, how often do you use incentives? Right. Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment? We have to assess students as they progress. We'd, we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. People pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment? Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Huh. Or was the money for something else? No. Okay, had her... Okay. Wait a minute, he's lying about something. Hold on a sec. Where did I find that one? Students give Kate the money to test her assessment. Believe all the help does around to give Kate the money to test her assessment. Let's see. Never used by students. Stores. Eh. Huh. Let's see if I... Alright. Nose of costumes. Course involved teaching students how to act. No. Teaching how to act. Hmm. You I'll still say you're lying about something else, whatever it is. But uh, I see where are you, birds? I don't see the frame like this. Where are you? Where I know you're lying about one more thing, I know you are. Let's see. Doesn't know, has no idea, no student ever brought drugs, doesn't allow, no student ever brought drugs to Atlas, doesn't allow drugs on that a bit. You gave kid money to the student pay for the course of the session, let's see, done. Hmm. Let's see. He gave me that. 
It's never room lock room lots of shoes are distracted. Alright. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Alright, let's go back to here. Alright, I'm gonna end the game play right here on part 11. Looks like we found some more information about the $500 check or pounds that Ryan was trying to get to Kate. And maybe it gets a little bit more closer to find out who actually killed Kate. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll be back with part 12 of Contradiction. I am out.